Hello everyone, welcome back to this Easy Sewing channel. If you like Easy Sewing projects, I would advise you to subscribe the channel because we have Easy Sewing projects every week. So, as you expected, we are going to make this lovely heat ball protector. Look at this beauty! This project is very, very easy to make. You will protect your hands from burning. And of course, it will decorate your dinner table. And with this project, you can use it for a lot of things. You can keep your eggs, your clips, your toasts, a lot of things. And it's very easy. If you like this project, don't forget to give us your thumbs up. It's very important for the channel. So let's stop talking and let's start working. To create our heat ball protector, we are going to need a set of four buttons, a square for the linen fabric measuring 24 centimeters per 24 centimeters, for the main fabric another square measuring 25 centimeters per 25 centimeters, and uh, interfacing or foam, I'm using form 0.3 millimeters. For the first step, we are going to make some measures. We are going to measure 8 cm from each edge. It stays like this. Now we are going to sew all over this square here and uh, all over the edges. All done, I already ironed it to erase the fabric marker pen. I trimmed off, um, as you can see on the back. So you have the square and you have all sewed. And now what we are going to do is we are going to fold this in half, like this. And on this top, we fold it with our ruler. We are going to measure 6 cm down and 4 cm to the middle. Now I got the measures and now we are going to make a line like this and we are going to do the same thing on this side. Now we are going to fold it again and we are going to do the same measurements as we did before, 6 cm down and 4 to the middle, here and here. To have something like this. Now on the linen fabric we are going to do the same thing. We are going to fold it in half and we are going to measure six centimeters down and four and six down and four. We are going to fold it again and make the same measurements. We are going to have something like this and now we are going to fold this 
and half. Make sure the edges are matching together and we are going to sew here and here. Now we are going to open like this and we are going to match the edges as well here and we are going to sew it all over the line again here and here. And now we are going to do the same process on our leaning fabric. Match the edges together, sew it all over the line. Now with the both done, we are going to trim off all the excess here and the linen fabric as well. Now we are going to put the right side with the right side together and we are going to match the seams together. So here you put one for one side and the other one for the other side. It is very important the seams matching. And now we are going to top stitch all over leaving an open gap here so we can turn the hour piece around now on our corners we are going to cut them be careful to not cut the seam. And here we are going to make cuts as well without cutting the seam. Now let's turn our piece around. For these corners I normally use a stick. Now we are going to top stitch all around and we are going to put these edges inside and top stitch as well so we can close our gap. Now we are going to fold the edges and just sew the bottom here on the four corners and I will show the results. Our heat ball protector is all done now. For the next week we are going to make this lovely placemat and you can make a set with the ball we have done today. As you can see your table will be beautiful. You can use it day by day for a decoration party. You just need to work your imagination. To be notified for the next video for the placemat, don't forget to subscribe the channel and turn the notifications on so you can be notified for the placemat video. Once more, thank you so much for watching and you, I will see you on the next video.